This episode's FDR shoutout goes to MPH's Animo channel. Leave a comment down below. Do you have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode? Make sure you're subscribed. What's going on? It's your boy, Churz. Welcome back, dad. So glad you're proud of me. <laughs> It just hit me. I'm Asian, but I'm a YouTuber. I'm sorry I couldn't be the doctor slash accountant hybrid that you've <laughs> you've always wanted. <laughs> no, but seriously, what happened? How did this happen? Who hurt me? Who hurt me enough for my Asian ass to become a YouTuber? I really looked at myself and went like, Ryan Higa, maybe Kev Jumba. If you checked out my food channel, I'm basically Mike Chen from Strictly Dumpling. <laughs> this is a great start to fish Fish for th This is a great start to Fish Tank Review episode 143. Boy, let's get it. Fish Tank Review. Hope your week is starting off to a good start. Has anyone ever said, hope your week is starting off sucky? No, because that would be bad manners. Oh my goodness. Nani the F is that. Are you seeing this? This would be good in something like a store. Agreed. Though these are permanent setups. Looks like a breeding setup. If they're filtered, I would say this isn't that bad. Didn't realize permanent breeder animals should have less quality of a life than hobbyist pets. Oh! Oh my god. Okay. Emotional damage. Oh, this is the aquarium co-op coaster. Aquarium co-op hat, my bro. Swagged out today, bro. Check it. Check it out. Check it out, my dude. Aquarium co-op dot com get yourself swagged up with the most popular aquarium local fish store that is aquarium co-op at aquarium co .com. van crypt over here decimating everyone in the comment section who is this guy let me hire him to host these ftrs this guy doing my job way better than i am look at this mega normie saying looks like a breeding setup if they're filtered i would say this isn't that bad and then van crypt the mega chad with his diamond encrusted fingers typing out this beauty of a sentence didn't really Realize permanent breeder animals should have less quality of life than hobbyist pets. Oh, logic so profound and robust you could swim in it and cook with the remaining water. <clears throat> my my emotions are damaged, bro, in a good way. These things are too small for permanent enclosures. Let me just say it. They don't even have enough surface area for beneficial bacteria growth. There's no filter. There's no heater. From most of the other comments I've read, this person lives in Korea. And no, Korea is not Australia, nor is it California. California. Korea gets real cold real fast. I'm supposed to believe this guy's paying year-round money to keep their house an ambient and crisp 21 degrees Celsius. I don't believe that one bit. And you know what? They probably change all the bettas every year anyway. So I guess perfect for them if they die every winter. So if this is a better rescue, which we don't really know if it is, who's to rescue this from the rescue. Imagine being rescued from the store to be put into something forever, but it's also not that much bigger. Wouldn't it have been a better choice to not be rescued by this guy? To maybe have a chance at going into a normal five gallon or 10 gallon. It's not that hard, folks. Put your fish in something that's good enough for them to swim in. This is exactly what I mean when I'm like, better rescue, huh? Bet. My fish died after a week starter pack. No research, first and foremost. We don't do that around here. Either PetSmart or Petco or some shady ass pet store. Always a fishbowl that is one gallon or less. One gallon or less? It's more like 0.25 gallons, go big or go home. Yep, and we got the wall betta. Has absolutely no idea what they're doing. Puke colored gravel. Dude, the guy at the store said they don't need a filter. Which is so weird because why wouldn't you sell your customers more things? You know what I mean? Like a filter isn't free. I will would understand if filters are free to take out of your store then you'd be losing a lot of money but they gotta pay for that and you stocked it in your fish store so why not do something that makes you money at the same time is better for the fish logic great starter pack though 4.7 out of 5 really enjoyed it fish tank sent in by mac i think from the discord just the use of space alone and the choices of your fish five out of five let's get it keep it up mac tank update we survived Kid dumped sippy cup of milk in her reef tank last month. Holy. And that is the after, after a month. So I think they survived. I don't really know what I'm looking at. It does look good. Let me know in the comments if that's the case. And I'm not really sure what the effects of a cup of milk will do. Obviously, you don't really find that in nature. Like there's no cows where there is the ocean and they're not getting like milked 
into the ocean. So the ocean generally doesn't experience cow milk. Very unnatural thing to introduce into your tank. Damn, you, you're a kid, man. Meeting a fellow aquarium owner. He has very sophisticated individuals such as myself. Finding out they have plastic plants and rainbow gravel. <laughs> okay, pretend like that interaction never happened. This fish tank sent in by Rigel. Nice start to an aquascape. Trying to use live plants. Again, if those are Java fern, those look like Java fern trident. Make sure their roots are not planted into the substrate because it will rot. Attach it somewhere. You can even attach it with some fishing line or elastic band. It's an especially hard sort of tank to skate because it goes upwards and it's always harder to scape up, right? Like what, do you, what are you supposed to put in there? So the bigger stuff, the better. I would recommend some hardwood, manzanita wood, spider wood, mopani wood, maybe some branches dangling from up top. I see you've got floaters in there already. Some other floaters that will get a lot of long roots going for you are like dwarf water lettuce and frog bit. Right now, I do enjoy your stocking. It's not very overstocked and hopefully those angels get big for you. But when they get too big, you want to watch out and be careful with your neons because angelfish, the bigger angels, have been known to try to eat neon tetras. For now, a 3.3 out of 5. Keep it up. Aquarium store said he was on a timeout. Man, that's a evil looking puffer fish right there. You put your puffer fish in a whole hamster ball. That's kind of ingenious actually. But I wonder if it actually works. Like, what if there's a pattern that forms where the fish, every time it attacks every time it becomes aggressive you have to put them in this ball eventually would the fish actually learn that hey if i do this behavior i'm stuck in the ball and is that even healthy for the fish i don't know i know it's healthy for the other fish that it's attacking though i made duckweed decorations today the first thing i saw was the boat the guy on the boat which is pretty cute and then i saw what i thought was a betta fish but it turns out i think it's a like carved hand carved alligator because <laughs> it looked like the betta fish was the alligator stalking the guy in the little boat that would have been a really cool picture. Jeff from the Philippines sent their beautiful tank in. A lot of shrimp and I love the clumps of moss. It's so beautiful. With a path that's created off center there. Some hardscape to be seen. Probably woodscape just covered with the abundant plantings. Massive poop by Rapashi. She's taken after Millie. <laughs> Everyone pooping on my setup here. A little bit of plantings of Hygrophila pinatophyta. Got some Ludwigia. Doing a really good job there, Jeff. 4.85 out of 5. Keep it up. I thought it couldn't get any worse, but then I read the caption. Gumball machine fish tank. Everyone needs one of these. What says I love you better than the gift of a pet goldfish? This guy is speaking my language. This guy's got game. I know it's not a fuzzy little kitten or a tiny soft puppy, overrated, but it is a lot easier to take care of. Yeah, you don't even need water for goldfish. Just watch it die. Very easy. By the way, that's not even a goldfish. What are you talking about? Did this person really misidentify a betta fish for a goldfish? Be unique on Valentine's Day. Oh, oh, we're talking about Valentine's And make a special fish tank that will be remembered. Certainly. If you do this, it will be very memorable and you will only be a memory. Show of hands, anyone out there find this romantically attractive? <laughs> Boomers say that this is why the baby boomer generation was called the baby boomer generation. It's because all the guys were giving their girlfriends a gumball machine with a betta slash goldfish in it and they just couldn't keep their pants on because of that. Crazy. We're trying to start baby boomer generation V2. Mary sent in this corner heavy scape and it's beautiful. We got some sunset guppies going on. Looks like perfect amount of stocking. Oco stone base with that just layers upon layers of texture and color for plants and it looks pretty low tech as well which I love. Just a nice almost self-sustaining low tech tank. This is a nano tank as well. Very light clean substrate. The height of the tank is superbly filled out. 3.85 out of 5. Keep up the good work. This verified purchase review works great. I can see that. Yes I can see that the sponge filter works and I can't see anything else. That is half the tank, my guy. Talk about hardscape. Talk about filling the vertical space. Wow, it doesn't get better than this, you know? Nothing says beautiful like your filter taking up half the actual fish tank. Works not just great, works fantastic. You don't even have to worry about hardscape if you don't have room for the hardscape. Like, that's one more thing to cross off your list. All jokes aside, it is still better than if you don't have a filter, unless the suction is too much for the betta fish. Betta fish do not like super high flow they do not like being sucked towards something because they get tired sometimes that may lead to their death especially if it's not a super healthy betta fish or a long finned betta fish that's bred to crap cf francais oh oui oui madame bonjour ton fish tank a très beautiful lava rock got a tp hut sort of thing and it's like a perfect picture because that odo synclus is smack dab in the middle of your tank how did you get that to work might be some corridors in the back some live bearers here and there very understock got a sort of marine backdrop going on 
there though. What is that? The Titanic? Oh, almost missed the fantastic runners in the front. I wonder what runners those belong to. Might be a sort of crypto current. Very cool. Always love to see your hard work towards caring for your plants, paying off, and they're multiplying for you. Four out of five, keep it up. I have never heard of this before. Right, so those are a lot of fish in like individual plastic bags just on a motorcycle. And these people go around their area and try to sell it. This is very common in Asia and I've even seen it like around in China when I go back to visit sometimes. They just balance it on the back of their motorcycles. It actually seems pretty insane. So a lot of fish are not sold in local fish stores like maybe some of you are used to, but they're actually mobile. So they'll come to you or they'll have, it's kind of like a food truck. Like they'll have designated locations they spend time at so you can go buy some fish that you want. And no, I don't think it's the best option for these fish. I don't think it's that healthy for them, but this is how some people make their living. Just that every time I see one of these, I can't help but think, what if they accidentally drop them? What if they accidentally get into some collision? That would be a lot of dead tropical and sometimes maybe even rare fish just flopping on the ground. Which one do you save first? My plecos when I keep bothering them to check for eggs. Leave us alone. I actually don't know this episode of SpongeBob and trust me, I'm pretty sure I know every episode of SpongeBob. This must be one of the newer gen episodes where things start going south. You know, nowadays people think kids just like randomness. If it's random, it's funny, except it's not. Bring back old SpongeBob. Wait a second. Seapora Beta Aquarium. Five compartments. 3.5 gallons, 60 bucks. So the whole tank is 3.5 gallons and there's five compartments. Y'all getting this? I am not good enough at math to do this calculation because it gets so small. 3.5 divided by five. Was that like 0.6 gallons each? And you have all five of those bettas in the same water system. So one of them gets sick. Hey, guess what? None of them get sick. Trick question. No, all of them get sick. And the video club, let's get it. Thank you guys so much for your support. Tuning in all the way till the end, boosting that algorithm. Hot word. The question of the week. No, not of the week, people. Question of the strong. What is your favorite size for an aquarium? For example, 10 gallon, 20 gallon, five gallon. Or do you like some weird dimension like 7.12 liters? All right, broskies, leave it in the comments below. I'll see you guys there. If you enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button and subscribe for more. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin die, acclimate that. With my shoal at, cure my fin rot. From Karis for me, stupid retro rolled on. Hold on, there's not another fish that you can wish for. Live fam says, I finna one, I finna gone. Three days without furt, I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence, gang.